हेलो मैडम हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग सर प्लीज कैरी ऑन द क्लास ओनली टू मेंबर्स कैन मैडम आई थिंक आउट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस Only two numbers can. Oh, what happened, sir? Sorry, I can't. Good morning, sir. Hello, am I audible? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please continue the class, sir. Okay, I can. So please continue the class. No problem, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Good okay, very good morning, students. Okay. Today we will discuss about insect pest of pulses. Today we will discuss about pulses. Next we will discuss about. All beans, peas, lentils, green gram, red gram, black gram, hot gram, and Bengal beans. These pests form an important part of Indian diet. They can form an important part of Indian diet. So they can supply vegetable protein as well to starchy diets. It's of 1983. So Indian Institute of Pulses research was established. Sir, located, yes, no. Unable to hear you, sir. Audible now, ma. Sir, Hello? is it audible now? Sir, little more louder if you can. Okay. Headphone problem. Yes, sir. Problem. Is it audible now, ma? Is it audible now? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Today we will discuss about insect pest of pulses. Insect pest of pulses. First, we will discuss about introduction of pulses. introduction of pulses so what are pulses pulses it includes beans peas lentils green gram black gram red gram horse gram and bengal grams so these pulses which form an important part of indian dietary so it can it can form an important part of indian dietary so they can supply vegetable proteins as essential adjustment to so starchy diets only So in case of 1983, so in case of 1983, Indian Institute of Pulses Research was established. So in case of 1983, Indian Institute of Pulses Research was established and located at Kanpur. So you can remember this point. So in 1983, Indian Institute of Pulses Research was established and located at Kanpur. So among pulses. Bengal gram is highest in production, highest production and largest area under cultivation. Bengal gram or chickpea, Bengal gram or chickpea, whatever it may be, same only. So among pulses, Bengal gram is the highest production in largest area. So under cultivation only. So in case in first ever World Pulse Day was celebrated on tenth February two thousand two thousand nineteen. 2019 so first ever world pulse day was celebrated on 10th february 2019 so at present 
total production total pulses production was 23.40 metric tons 23.40 metric tons so madhya pradesh so is the leading producer of total pulses madhya pradesh is leading producer of total pulses so that's all about introduction of pulses introduction of pulses so can remember in 1983 indian institute of pulses research was established and located at kanpur next bengal gram bengal gram is the highest production highest production and largest area under cultivation okay first ever world pulses day was celebrated on february 19 in 2019 only so total pulses production 23.40 metric tons okay let's move on insect pest of pulses let's move on topic so that is insect pest of pulses first one gram pod borer first one gram pod borer so scientific name helicoverpa armigera so gram pod borer scientific name helicoverpa armigera so family noctidae family noctidae so order lepidopterans order lepidopteran so lepidopterans was divided into two suborders those are monotrichia and dietrichia so mostly 95% of species comes under suborder dietrichia only dietrichia only so family noctidae specific character of family noctidae means so they can active at night time only or they can cause damage at night time only so because it's a nocturnal so that's why i want to call as noctidae family noctidae family so next biology or life cycle or identification characters of gram pod borer biology or life cycle or identification characters of gram pod borer so you can see these pictures so it's an adult so from these adults we can get the eggs so from these eggs we can get caterpillars so up from these caterpillars we can get pupas again we can get the adults so this is the life cycle so next identification characters of adult identification characters of adult so it's a moth because it's a noctidae so that's why we want to call as moth it's a noctidae so that's why we want to call as moth so moth having brown wings crossed by a dark band near outer margin so in case of four wings so in case of four wings gray or brown wings is the gray or brown wings and these are crossed by a dark band near outer margin so dark band near outer margin so you can see these four wing so this region we want to call as coastal region and this is apical and this is analum so wings it it can contain three margins and three angles so humeral angle it is there apical angle anal angle so coastal apical anal so three margins is there coastal apical anal so coastal regions so it contain dark band near outer margin only so dark band near outer margin and dark spot near coastal margin of the four wings so these are the dark spots near coastal margin of the four wings only so this is called as coastal margin and this is called as apical and anal so these coastal margin contain dark span so in case of hind wings so white is in color white is in color but dark apical border is there so you can see is there this is called as apical and this is called as coastal so apical region contain dark band so dark band or dark in color so these are the identification characters of an adult of gram pod borer so coastal margin contain dark spot and apical anal contain dark spots but in case of four wings coastal but in case of hind wings analum apical apical so next from these adults we can get the eggs so these are the eggs so we can also call as site of oviposition site of oviposition or egg laying so she will lay eggs on tender parts of the plants so she will lay eggs on tender parts of the plants tender parts means egg egg layers so they can lay eggs on egg layers so after hatching of these eggs we can get the caterpillars so these are the caterpillars so we can get the caterpillars so in case of egg caterpillars so in case of egg caterpillars so they can cause damage on the leaves some tender leaves later it can bore into the pods later it can bore into the pods 
so we already discussed this matters so moth is dark yellow olive gray or brown wings so crossed by a dark band near outer margin so dark band near outer margin and dark spot near coastal margin of the four wings so in case of four wings dark spot near coastal margin of four wings and dark band near outer margin but in case of hind wings so dark apical border is there apical so three margins is there three angles is there so next full grown caterpillars so it will be variable in colors so dark green or reddish brown or brownish in colors next damage symptoms a damage symptoms so in case of help cover parmigera so it can cause round holes it can cause round holes but in case of spodoptera litora so it can cause irregular holes so you can remember these two difference between help cover pan spodoptera so round holes was caused by helicobacter parmigera so you can see here so these are the beans round holes is the round holes so it can insert its head into this bean some it can insert head into inside and remaining body parts are present on outside of the podium so you can see here so head will be in inside and remaining body parts are outside of the plant or outside of the pod so these are the specific characters of helicobacter parmigera helicobacter parmigera so round holes is caused by helicobacter parmigera next site of pupation site of pupation so it will takes it will take pupation within the soil only so site of pupation so noctidae so family noctidae so that's why it can pupate in soil so let's move on management management so what type of management practices we want to follow under field conditions against this helicobacter parmigera so in case of initial crop growth phase so in case of initial crop growth phase so we want to do deep summer flubbing so we want to follow deep summer flubbing so why we want to do because site of pupation site of pupation is within the soil only so that's why we want to do deep summer flubbing you can see this picture so in case of summer we want to do deep flubbing some deep flubbing so like that only crop rotation so we want to avoid mono cropping so we want to avoid mono cropping and we want to follow crop rotation with the jowa ginger leaf black gram horse gram or dry paddies so we want to follow crop rotation techniques next one so in case of second step raising intercrops so we want to follow intercrops also so like green gram black gram so so we want to follow intercrops so why we want to do these intercrops why we want to sow these intercrops because we want to encourage and conserve the natural enemies so we want to encourage and conserve the natural enemies so like larval parasites campolitis chloridae so apentelis so these are the bio control agents against these helicobacter parmigera next so in case of flowering time so in case of flowering time so we want to use pheromone traps so in, we want to use pheromone traps you can see this picture so it's a pheromone trap so recommended dose is 10 per hectare 10 per hectare so 10 to 12 10 to 12 for one hectare so like that only light traps light traps we want to use light traps also because it's a nocturnal nocturnal so that's why they can attract towards the light so that's why we want to install light traps in fields so next bird patches so next we want to use bird patches some so that is 50 for hectare so you can see this picture so these are the bird patches why we want to install these patches bird patches in fields because so caterpillars they can easily visible to these birds some so because it will it will uh, head inserted into inside the pod but body parts remaining on outside of the pod only so that's why it is easily visible to this drone or birds so that's why we want to install bird patches in fields so like that only we want to use nsk neem seed kernel extracts because we want to repel the site of ov position so we want to repel the site of ov position next microbial insecticides so npv so nuclear polyhedral virus we want to use recommended dose is 200 larval equivalent for one hectare so recommended is recommended dose 200 larval equivalent for one hectare next chemical controls so chemical controls so we want to use chlorophyll fos we want to use chlorophyll fos or acephate 
so these are the chemicals which are recommended against helicobacter pylori vigera so gram pod borer so that's all about management of gram pod borer let's move on another pest red gram plume moth red gram plume moth so scientific name exilastis atomosa red gram plume moth scientific name exilastis atomosa and another scientific name is also the spinaches chaffer spinaches chaffer so these two are the scientific names of red gram plume moth so family tirophoridae family tirophoridae order lepidoptera order lepidoptera so we know that lepidopterans was divided into two suborders those are monotrichia and ditrichia monotrichia and ditrichia so next specific character of family tirophoridae specific character of family tirophoridae so tirophoridae you can see these pictures so this is an adult some so this is the adults so you can see here these are the four wings and these are the hind wings so four wings was divided into two types of so four wings was divided into two types and hind wings was divided into three types so these are the specific characters of family tirophoridae so it's look like our hand it's look like our hand so our hand contains five fingers so you can see here so four wings divided into two types and hind wings are divided into three types so it's look like our hand so these are the specific characters of family tirophoridae tirophoridae and fissured wings are present in these furor tirophoridae fissured wings so in case of fringed wings in thrips but in case of tirophoridae fissured wings are present so these are the specific characters of family tirophoridae next one biology or life cycle or identification characters of exilastis atomosa red gram plume moth so first you can see these pictures so this is an adult sum so these are the adults so adults are so it's a moth because it's an tirophoridae so these are the moths so moths are brownish or gray with narrow wings some narrow wings is there so you can see here these are the narrow wings so both the four wings and hind wings are grayish or brownish with long narrow wings is there long narrow wings so these are the characters of adult so from these adults we can get the eggs site of ovary position she will lay eggs on tender parts on tender parts or parts surface only site of ovary position tender parts or parts only so these adults we know that when four wings was divided into two types and hind wings are divided into three types so we know these characters so tirophoridae so site of ovary position we know that the site of ovary position and flower buds or pods site of ovary position so after hatching of eggs we can get the caterpillars so these are the caterpillars so after hatching of these eggs we can get the caterpillars so these tiny caterpillars they can scrape the pod surface so it can scrape the pod surface because site of ovary position also on pod only so that's why it can scrape the pod surface and it can cut the holes and it can thrust the head into it into it and feeds on seeds by remaining outside only so it can feed on seed surfaces so these caterpillars it can bore into green pods or feed on the developing seeds so which are more or less completely devoid or eaten away so they are full grown caterpillars so it is greenish brown in color so earlier it is greenish in color so you can see here so it is greenish in color so at the time of pupation it so it will turn into brown color it can turn into brown color next damage symptoms damage symptoms so you can see here holes are formed on the seeds or pods holes some small holes are present on seeds and pods so dropping of flower buds and flowers in, in case of severe cases dropping of flower buds and flowers so completely eaten or devoured seeds is there sun so pupation site of pupation so it will takes place on pod surface or burrows of infested pods so on pods only site of pupation is there site of pupation next management so management so we want to collection of caterpillars with the help of our hands we want to collect the caterpillars or we want to collect we want to collect the caterpillars by shaking of shoots so finally we want to destroy these caterpillars and biological control is the apentalis species it can parasitize the larva 
so it can parasitize the larva of gram pod exilastis atmos blue moth it can parasitize the blue moth larvas so you can see here so this is the brassica larva so this is the brassica larvas brassica is a peerish brassica but i am telling them i am showing only one example here so larval parasitize is there so it can parasitize the larva so these are the larvas of epantelism so these are the larvas of epantelis and this is larva of peerish brassica so next chemical controls so chemical controls we want to apply quinol fast a clux train name a clux you can see here a clux train name train name so we want to apply this a clux chemical for control of these blue moths we want to apply quinol fast recommended dose is 2 ml per liter 2 ml per liter next one red gram pot fly red gram pot fly so scientific name Melangromyza obtusa, red gram pot fly. So you can remember these scientific names. So in case of IBBS point of view, so they will ask about scientific names only. So pot fly, red gram pot fly, Melangromyza obtusa. So family Agrombizida, family Agrombizida. So Diptera order Dipterans. So we know that Dipterans was divided into three suborders. Those are Nematoceran, Brachycerin, and Cyclorapha. So in case of this agromizidae comes under suborder cyclorapha. Suborder cyclorapha. So nematocera is there, brachycera is there, cyclorapha is there. So this agromizidae comes under suborder cyclorapha. Cyclorapha. Okay. Next identification characters or biology or life cycle of red gram pot flies. So first we will discuss about specific character of agromizidae. Specific character of Agromizidae. So agromizidae means this family commonly referred to as the leaf miners. So leaf miners. Most of the leaf miners comes under this family only. Agromizidae. Uh, it's a pot fly. So for the feeding habits of their larval. So larval habits is there. So based on the larval habits, so most of the leaf miners they can come under this agromizidae only. Next biology or life cycle or identification characters of red gram pot fly only so you can see here so it this it's look like house fly so it's look like house fly so so adult it is a black fly with strong legs and ovate abdomen is there so ovate abdomen so it's look like black in color and it is also resembles to house flies so adult is a black fly with strong legs and ovate abdomens so these i saw distinct and wings are clearly venom so a brownish yellow on there at the bases so yellow color at present at their wing base on so yellow color a brownish yellow at the bases only brownish yellow present at the bases of the wings so wings so these are clearly visible wings are clearly venation is there clear venation is there so it's look like black in color so adult is a black fly with strong legs and ovate abdomen. Its eyes are distinct. Wings are clear veined. So venation is there. So brownish yellow at the basis of wings. So brownish yellow at the basis of the wings. So these are the characters of adult. So these are the characters of adults. So from, from these adults, we can get the eggs. So we can get the eggs. So site of oil position or egg laying. So within the pod within the pod site of oil position or egg laying so after hatching of these eggs we can get the maggots we can get maggots here we want to call as maggots because it's an diptera so that's why we want to call as maggots so here these are the maggots it can cause damage to these pods you can see here so these tiny maggots bore into the pods and feed on egg seeds so these tiny maggots it can bore into the pots and feed on egg seeds so initially the larva bore into the epidermis so without rupturing the seed coat so it can cause it does not cast damage to the sedum seed coat just it can initially larva bore into the epidermis and without rupturing the seed coat so you can see these matters we already discussed these matters so adult is a black fly with strong legs and ovate abdomen is there so eyes are distinct wings are clear when a brownish yellow at the basis of wings so this small fly this small black fly it can thrust its minute eggs into the tissues of the tender pots and flower buds only 
tender parts are flower buds. This is called a site of oviposition. Site of oviposition. So oviposter is there. Means oviposter means at the tip of abdomen, it contains the oviposter. So, so mostly dipterans and hymenopterans, they contain oviposter for egg laying purpose only. For egg laying purpose. So with the help of these oviposter, so it can pierce the pericarp of fruitum. So pericarp of fruit or pod. Then it can lay eggs. Then it can lay eggs. Next, man, damage symptoms. Damage symptoms. So discoloration of the infested parts. You can see this picture. Discoloration is there. So it's look like green and it's look like brown. So that is called as discoloration of the infested parts. Discoloration of infested parts. So in case of severe infestations, so the holes about one mm in diameter. So it's just covered with a trans membrane readily seen on the infested parts. So this is very important damage symptoms. It's a very, very important damage symptom. So in case of uh, obvious examination, so they will ask like that only. So the holes about one mm in diameter covered with thin membrane rarely seen on the infested parts was caused by which pest? So you know, a random pot fly. So exist holes, which is also visible after the adult emergence. So after our adult emergence, we can see the holes on pots. So these are the damage symptoms. Next, site of pupation. So it will pipette within the podum. So it will pipette within the pods only. So next management. So what type of management practices we want to follow under field conditions against these gram, red gram pot flies. So first we want to, in case of endemic areas, so we want to sow the early sowings. So we want to do early sowings. So in case of endemic areas, we want to sow the crop early. Next, removal of affected parts of first brood during the winter season. Next, pre pupil stage that is parasitized by uterus agromyzer. Uterus agromyzer. So, you can see this picture. So, this is uterus agromyzer. Next, chemical control. Chemical controls, we want to apply Rogar. Rogar. Train name Rogar dimethyatum. So, 30% is emulsifil concentration. So we want to use these pesticides or we want to use these insecticides against red gum pot flies. Next one, stem fly. Stem fly. So fam family agromizide, scientific name, Ophiomia fasciole. Scientific name, Ophiomia fasciole. Scientific name, Ophiomia fasciole. So the dipterans. We know that dipterans contain three suborders. Those are nematocerin, brachycerin, cyclorophan. So this agromizide comes under suborder cyclorophan only. Next, biology, life cycle. Biology or life cycle, stem flies. So it's look like house flies and black in color. So black in color. So these are look like house flies only. So site of pupation. So it can pupate on stem. So that's why we want to call a stem flies. But in case of red gram pod fly, so she will lay eggs on pod or tender pods. But in case of these stem fly, she will lay eggs on stem mum, so stem surface. So that's why we want to call as stem fly. So after hatching of eggs, we can get the maggots. These are the tiny maggots. It can cause damage. So it can cause damage. So finally, plants will die. Plants will die. So eggs, site of oviposition, position, she will lay eggs on stem or petiole. Site of oviposition, position, she will lay eggs on stem or petioles. So after hatching of these eggs, we can get the maggots, so which can tunnel the stem and feeds on the internal contents. So it can tunnel the stem and feeds on the internal contents. So if you open these stems, so if your stem is split open, then you can see the maggots. So along with the excretum, then you can see the maggot along with the excretor. So management, first drooping of the first two leaves and wilting of the plants are observed due to the damage. Damage symptoms, drooping of the first two leaves and wilting of the plants because stem mama, stem damage, damage. So stem was damaged. So that's why wilting of the plants takes place. Okay, management, we want to use resistant varieties like LPBG 611. LBG, LBG. So these are the resistant varieties like in a stem flies. We want to use high seed rate also and seed treatment with carbosulfam. So 40 recommended doses, 40 grams for one kg of seeds. Okay, that's all about.
stem fly let's move on another pest spotted pot borer pot borer spotted pot borer so marca vitrata marca vitrata family pyrolata so in case of our native telugu language we want to call as machala purugu machala purugu so family pyrolida family pyrolida order lepidopterans order lepidoptera so specific character of family pyrolida so we know that one snout like structures labial pulp i they can modified into snout like structures so you can see here so these are the snout like structures labial pulp i they can modified into snout like structure so next biology or life cycle of spotted pod borer so pyrolida means it's a moth so this is the moth so pyrolida means moth only so this is the moth so moth is with a dark brown four wings so dark brown four wings so it's look like brown in colors so four wings are dark brown in color four wings are dark brown in color and white club shaped cross band along anterior margin so white club shaped band is present on on the four wings and hind wings are whitish in color but in case of outer margin dark spots is there dark band is present on outer margin so hind wings are whitish in color but a dark brown border is there dark brown border border so you can see here so these are the borders dark brown borders is the high whitish hind wings is there but in case of four wings dark brown in color and white band is there white club shaped bands are present on four wings so these are the identification characters of spotted pod borer spotted pod borer so site of bow position so from these adults we can get the from these adults we can get the eggs so our site of oviposition or egg laying site of oviposition or egg laying so she will lay eggs on flowers only she will lay eggs on flower buds only flower buds so after hatching of these eggs we can get the caterpillars we can get the caterpillars so these are the caterpillars so two rows of brown patches or brown spots are present on the larva two rows of brown spots are present on the larva so you can see here two rows is the brown spots are present on throughout the length of the caterpillar throughout the length of caterpillars so these caterpillars with the short hairs are also present on the body so these next damage symptoms so these larvas it can web the flower buds so webbing is there so it can web the flower buds so you can see this matter so moth is a dark brown four wings with white club shaped cross band along anterior margin and white hind wings with the dark brown border is there so we already discussed this matter next this these caterpillars with short hairs and black spots so short hairs are present on throughout the body only so next it can also bore into the pods at one end and it's of the ripening seeds only so these are the damage symptoms damage symptoms so you can see here this is called as excreta of marca vitreta excreta of marca vitreta so mass excreta can be seen at the entrance of larval burrow so you can see here so this is called as pod podum red gram pod so inside it is the, so yeah, this is a larva so entire excreta is there so masses excreta can be seen at the entrance of larval furrow so it can also bore into the pods at one end and it's upon the ripening seeds so you can see here these are the damage symptoms next management so chemical controls is there so we want to apply chemicals like chlorophyll phos phenol phos chlorophyll phos so chlorophyll phos or novel urine remon so novel urine remon or phenol phos eclux so these are the recommended chemicals against brown spotted pod borer marca vitrata next one bean aphids so bean aphids aphids so scientific name Ephis craxivora. So bean aphids, scientific name Ephis craxivora. So family Ephidida. Family Ephidida. Order Hemiptera. Order Hemiptera. So we know that one Hemipterans was divided into two suborders. Those are Homopterans and Heteropterans. So these Ephidida comes under suborder Homoptera. Suborder Homoptera. So next specific character of family Ephidida means cornicles you can remember these points if it means cornicles so cornicles was present on 
fifth and sixth abdominal segments of epithelium so fifth and sixth abdominal segments so you can see here these are the cornicles so these are the cornicles fifth and sixth abdominal segments having cornicles so these are the cornicles so these are homopterans homopterans so that's why there is no pupa stage in these homopterans there is no pupa stage but egg laying is there uh, it can reproduce through parthenogenetically or egg laying is also there so you can see here this is an antum so this is an ant camponotus compresses so these hephits they can secrete honey dew so these hephits they can secrete honey dew so for that one uh, collection of that honey ants will be attracted so ants will attract towards these honey dews they can collect these honey dews so this is called as mutualism mutualism is there so honey dew if it's they can secrete honey dew first if it's they can secrete honey dew so for that honey dew ants will attract ants will attract so mutualism is there so if it's will be protected against natural enemies natural enemies so this is called as mutualism so both nymphs and adults of these epits they can suck sap from the plants so both nymphs and adults because they will have piercing and sucking type of nerve points so that's why they will suck sap from they will suck sap from the plants so both nymphs and adults they will suck sap from the plants or leaves or shoots resulting in twisting of the leaves so twisting of leaves is there and poor pod site development is there and devitalization of plants and shooty mold growth is there shooty mold growth is also there so majorly it can act as vectors it can act as vectors of roset disease in ground net roset disease in ground net and broad bean virus in, in case of peas so it can act as vectors roset disease in ground net and broad bean virus in pea next management so for control of these epits we want to prepare tobacco decoction so we want to prepare the tobacco decoction so we want to prepare tobacco decoction so we want to take 1 kg tobacco we want to take 1 kg of tobacco then we want to boil in 10 liters of water for half an hour then make up to 30 liters then we want to add 10 grams soaps for efficiency so for increasing of efficiency we want to add this 100 grams soap then we want another pesticides is also there so like dimethotrexacin or phosphamidon or malathia so these are recommended against aphids so these are recommended against control of aphids next one red gram cow bug so these are minor pest only so that's why you want to remember scientific names of these pest red gram cow bug so scientific name oxyrhachis tarandus oxyrhachis tarandus family membracid family membracid order hemipterans family membracid order hemipterans character specific character of family membracid is so pronotum pronotum so we know that pronotum so these pronotum extend beyond the abdomen and encloses the wings so it can covers the wings so you can see here so you can see here so this is called as pronotum so these pronotum extend beyond the abdomen and encloses the wings so it can encloses the wings on this is called as pronotum so this is a specific character of family membracid membracid tree hopper or cow bug tree hopper or cow bug so this pronotum is armed with spines spines so armed with spines means hair like structures so in case of our body wall there we discussed about cuticular appendages cuticular process cetes for macro trachea micro trachea so these spines so these spines to use as a defense mechanism so it will be useful for defense mechanism these pronotum contains spines so that can be used as defense mechanism so these are the specific characters of family membracid so it's an hemipteran so that's why it contain piercing and sucking type of mouth parts so with the help of that one it can cause damage so you can see here these are the nymphs so these are the nymphs of cow bugs nymphs of cow bugs both nymphs and adults they will suck the sap so both nymphs as well as adults they will suck sap from the green stepet 
all stages of the plants it can cause corky tissue corky tissue like pustules so it can cause corky tissue and it can excrete a honeydew so it can excrete honeydew so for this honeydew ants will be attracted ants will be attracted so black ant sign fignum camponotus compressum so black ant so it will be attracted towards this honeydew towards this honeydew next management management we want to use a dimethate roger so or methyl parathion or phosphamida so we want to use these chemicals for control of cow bugs oxycarinus tarandus oxyrachis tarandus sign fignum next one red gram pot bug red gram pot bug so there are three types is there so one is najara virudella so it is also bug only pentatomida bug next one clavigralla gibbosa clavigralla gibbosa next riptotus pedistrisum so there are three different types of bug is there first one najara virudella clavigralla gibbosa and riptotus pedistris so red gram pot bug means clavigralla gibbosa riptotus linearis so these are the scientific names of red gram pot bugs so family corida so family corida family corida so most of the leaf footed bugs leaf footed bugs comes under family corida only family corida so specific character of family corida means scent glands on sides of the thorax so signs of sides of the thorax so between the middle and hind coxa between the hind, middle and hind coxa so scent glands are present on sides of the thorax between the middle and hind coxa so these are the specific characters of family coridae so hemipterans so hemipterans divided into two suborders those are homopterans and heteroptera so these coridae comes under suborder heteroptera suborder heteropterans so because it's an hemipteran so that's why it contain piercing and sucking type of mouth parts so it can cause damage the pods so like nymphs and adults they will suck sap from the shoots and pods so finally shoots fade pods travel and seeds with the dark patches and so they can lose the germination capacity also they can lose the germination capacity so management management mechanical methods collection of bugs so we want to collect the bugs and their destruction by dipping into kerosenized water so are dusting or spraying with carbaryl or monocrotophos or dimethyltryptophan so these are the recommended chemicals against these bugs pod bugs next one leaf hopper leaf hopper sign fignum emposca kerri sign fignum emposca kerri so family cicadellidae family cicadellidae order hemiptera so these cicadellidae comes under suborder heteroptera suborder heteroptera so specific character of family cicadellidae means so double row of spines was present on the double row of spines you can see here double row of spines are present on the tibia double row of spines present on the tibia so these are the specific characters so it's an hemipteran so that's why piercing and sucking type of mouth parts is there both nymphs and adults they will have piercing and sucking type of mouth parts so with the help of these piercing and sucking type of mouth parts they can cause damage they can suck that they can suck and they can cause damage so you can see here so yellowish nymphs and adults they will suck sap from the leaves so which resulting in hope of bonds hope of bonds you can remember these damage symptoms hope of bond was caused by leaf hoppers only hope of bond caused by leaf hoppers so the atopic leaf flies which become cup shaped and yellow at the edges and so yellow in colors so in case of severe atox so leaf flies turning red brown with subsequent defoliation and stunting is there so management collection of bugs and the destruction of infested leaves so this is next one green plant bug or sting bug green green plant bug or sting bug or shield bug whatever it may be shield bugs also comes under family pentatomida pentatomida so scientific name najara virudella so fam, scientific name najara virudella order hemipterans order hemipterans so shield like structure some so shield bugs shield it is the called as shield so that is the specific character of family pentatomida so egg laying is there group of eggs is there not individual eggs 
so group of egg laying is there so this is called as nymphsum so in case of nymphs wing pads is there so these are the nymph wing pads but in case of adults fully developed wings is there fully developed wings so these are the difference between nymph and adult nymph and adult so both nymphs and adults they will suck sap from the tender shoots and and develop in pods in case of large numbers so in case of adults estivation during april to june so mechanical collection of nymphs and adults so these are the management management mechanical collection of nymphs and adults and destroying them so next foliage spray with carbaryl seven train nymphs seven carbaryl say train nymphs seven so which are recommended against this spot bugs next one green pot boring caterpillar or lentil pot borer so green pot boring caterpillar or lentil pot borer green pot boring caterpillar or lentil pot borer scientific name itilla jinkinella scientific name itilla jinkinella so these are the minor pest itilla jinkinella family pyralidae family pyralidae order lepidopterans we know that pyralidae means labial pulp they can modified into snout like structures so you can see here this is called as snoutum this is called as snout snout like structure is there so gray moth with white strips along the anterior margin of each forewing so an orange prothorax is there so orange prothorax so orange band is there next one site of oviposition position or egg laying so she will lay eggs on junction of the calyx and the podum on the surface on the surface of pod only site of oviposition position or egg laying she will lay eggs on pod so this larva it can feed on the floral pods and newly formed pods and seeds in the developing pods so these larva it can feed on the floral pods next fecal pellets is there so damage symptoms fecal pellets we will observe on these pods so small round holes on the red grum pods plugged with excreta so these are the damage symptoms management we know that management it is resemble to gram caterpillar gram caterpillars next blue butterflies blue butterflies scientific names catochrysops nigers are lampidis puticus lampidis puticus so these are the scientific names of blue butterflies blue butterflies so family lichenida lichenida family lichenida sodor lepidopterans so it's an butterflies so it's an butterflies not moth it's an butterfly lichenida lichenida family is there but it is in hemipterans lichenida difference lichenida is different so like that only arctida is different arctida is different arctida is different so arctida difference acridida is different acridida means short tonal grasshoppers arctida means it comes under lepidoptera so like that only lichenida 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 is different lichenida is different okay so blue butterflies so you can see this picture these are the adults so these are the adults so these are the eggs of lampidis puticus so after hatching of these eggs we can get the caterpillars so from these caterpillars we can get the pupas so finally again we can get the adults again we can get the adults so site of ovary position means so within the flower buds only site of ovary position within the flower buds only. so adults are blue butterflies with ventral side of the wings with numerous stripes on so numerous stripes is there and ventral surface numerous stripes is there so after hatching the tiny caterpillars it can enter into unopened flower buds unopened flower buds and feed inside it so management we want to use the sivinum carbaryl strain name sivin so which are recommended against blue butterflies next one red grum mites red grum mite scientific name aceria kajani scientific name Aceria kajani, so family Eriophyllae, family Eriophyllae, order Eucarina. So scientific name Aceria kajani, Eriophyllae mite. So you can see here, so Eriophyllae mites. So it can transmit pigeon pea sterility mosaic virus. So it can transmit so pigeon pea sterility mosaic virus. So it can act as vectors. so it can act as vectors so most of these mites so they will present on under surface of leaves only under side of tender leaves 
and cause yellowing of leaves. So yellowing of leaves is there. So these are the damage symptoms. Yellowing of leaves. So it can present on underside of tender leaves and causing yellowing of the leaves. And finally, suppression of flowering and fruiting is also there. So it can transmit pigeon pea sterility mosaic virus. So it can act as vectors or it can transmit pigeon pea sterility mosaic virus. A single area of feed mitis that is sufficient to transmit the disease. So that is sufficient to transmit diseases. So these diseases can be identified from a distance as a patches of bushy pale green plants without flowers or pods. So we know that one. So leaves are small, show a light or dark green mosaic patterns is there. Mosaic patterns. So for control of these mites, we want to do destruction of perennial and volunteer pigeon peas. So we want to remove these plants. Next, P leaf miners. So leaf miners means most of the leaf miners comes under family Agromizidae only. Agromizidae. So a scientific name Phytomyza atricornis. Phytomyza atricornis. Agromizidae that is the family M. So Agromizidae comes under suborder Cyclorapha. Cyclorapha. P leaf miner. So means mining is the mining of leaves. So these are the characters. So mining of the leaves. Um, P leaf miners. So it can infect on mustard, cauliflower, cabbage, lamb. So it can infect a polyphagus, polyphagus pest. So next site of oviposition, she will lay eggs on, on leaves. She will lay eggs on leaves only. So you can see here. So she will lay eggs on leaves only. So after hatching of these eggs, we can get the maggots. We can get the maggots. So these maggots, it can move like mine some. So zigzag mining, zigzag mining is there mining so pupation is also takes place and within the this mines only pupation also within this mines only so management foliar spray with methyl dimethyl or dimethate so foliar spray with methyl dimethyl or dimethate drug so which are effective against these leaf miners so site of oviposition eggs are inserted into the leaf tissue or maggot mine into the mesophyll of leaf leading to irregular blotches on the leaves. So these are the damage symptoms also. Mining. Mining. Next one, stem fly. P stem fly. So Pheomia fasciole, melangromyza, soja, P stem flies, agromyzida, dipterans. We already discussed with these best. Next one, leaf-eating caterpillars, Spodoptera exigua. Leaf-eating caterpillar, Spodoptera exigua. So family noctida order lepted. So we already discussed this best in cotton. Cotton. So white is crisscross band is there. So four wings crisscross band is there. So moth is medium sized and stout bodied with four wings pale grey to dark brown in color. So having white wavy white crisscross markings are present on four wings and hind wings are whitish in color. Hind wings are whitish in color. So for the management of these tobacco caterpillars, so we want to follow the collection and destruction of infested materials from the fields and plucking of leaves or boring the egg masses. And we want to use pheromone traps, lit lure is there, or setting up light traps for adults or pheromone traps and spraying of NSKV who will ripple, who will ripple the site of oviposition. Next, soybean leaf miners, aproyerma modicella scientific name. So I have been leaf miners, scientific name, Ophiomia, Aproirma modicellum. So I have been leaf miner. So I have been leaf miner, Aproirma modicella, or Caloptella soella. Caloptella soella. So these are the scientific names of so I have been leaf miners. So it means it can mining is the mining is the site of oviposition in their only site of pupation is also within the mine only. So it is the important pest of soybean. So it can also attacks on ground at some leguminous feeds. So brownish gray moth lay whitish egg singly on the under surface of leaves. So brownish adults she will lay eggs on underside of the leaves, underside of the leaves only. So brownish gray moth, she will lay eggs, white eggs single lay on under surface of the leaves. So young larva or young maggots initially can mine into leaflets and feed on the mesophyll. 
So severely infested fields present as a symptoms. It's look like burnt appearance, burnt appearance. So the full grown maggots is a green and dark head. So for control of these leaf miners, we want to use esophate or chlorophyll phos. Esophate or chlorophyll. And finally, last one, white flies. White flies, Bimisha tabasi, family Eleurodidae, order Hemipterans. Order Hemipterans. So Eleurodidae means whitish opaque wings, specific characters. Whitish opaque wings are present on these white flies. So that's white fly. The name itself in the name itself indicating the answer. So white flies, whitish in colors. Wings are whitish in color. So Hemipterans, both nymphs and adults, they will suck sap from the under surface of leaves. So because it's an hemipterans, so they will have piercing and sucking type of mouth parts. So it can transmit viruses. It can act as vector some. So for control of these white flies, we want to apply triazophos, esophate, or profenophosum. So it can transmit yellow mosaic virus also. YMV, yellow mosaic virus. So it can act as vectors. So both nymphs and adults, so they will suck sap from the under surface of leaves. So they will also secrete honeydew. So most of homopterans, they can secrete honeydew. Most of homopterans. Okay, that's all about today's lecture. So if you have any doubt, you can ask me. No, sir. OK, thank you. Hello, madam. Hello? Madam? Okay, I'm leaving now. Thank you. Thank you, sir.